I'm down here where all my heat pump controls are and I'm having a bit of an issue. Um, it's happened twice so far this winter where my HBX controller is calling for heat and commanding the heat pump to turn on so that little symbol would be on which should turn everything on uh, but this is not running this is the controller for the actual heat pump and when it's running it should show up here should show fan compressor and pump and what I have observed is that uh, basically it'll all start and then just shut off and seemingly like it's not running the compressor properly it also shows an error code FA which I've got a picture of here of course that's not in the manual so the only way that I have been able to fix it is to come in here and flip the breaker I leave it off for like 10-15 minutes and that seems to fix it um, but that's really hard to do when I'm not home and actually both times it's happened this winter I have not been home we've been out of state so um, luckily like we have backup heat still so it's fine but it's just mostly inconvenient I'm gonna build a remote control relay box to turn my heat pump off remotely from my phone I haven't decided yet if I'm gonna mount the box here it would be kind of convenient to mount it here but I have to move this wire not a big deal I can probably tuck it off to the side get that box mounted here this is my conduit up here that has the, the wires in it so I need to just cut that cut the wires kind of bring it down but I, I don't want to get it too low so that I still have enough slack so that's a possibility. The other possibility is maybe I put it over here. There's kind of a lot going on. I don't love that idea. I'd really like to get it onto this board. I think I want to mount it there. Um, so I'll need to move that wire, get it mounted up. I guess worst case I can always buy more conduit and reconfigure that a little bit if I had to. But um, I guess first step is getting the box mounted and then we can figure out the connections from there. So my control box, um, I'm going to drill holes to mount these two conduit fittings. Basically right now the conduit is continuous. I'm just going to cut it, have it go in one side over here, and come out the other side, come out the other side over here. And then I'm going to mount this little cable clamp down here on the bottom uh, and that'll be for my 120 volt power to come in and that'll just plug into an outlet that's nearby okay got this all assembled um, got this plugged into the wall it's just right there 120 volt power the heat pump runs off 240 volts it has no neutral if I had a neutral wire, I could actually use the neutral and one leg of the 240 to power this smart re relay, but I don't have a neutral, so I have to bring in separate 120 volt power. But basically that 120 volt power comes in, it powers the smart relay. Uh, if you can see the green little light there, that means it's connected to the Wi-Fi. I got it hooked up. Um, and then I'm, the 120 volt comes through the relay and into my contactor. This is a 120 volt coil on the contactor, 40 amp contactor. And once I get this mounted in the box, uh, we'll be using two of these terminals to disconnect the two phases of the 240 volt power. So let's, uh, let's test this out. I've got the Shelly app installed on my phone. I've already set up the relay on the Wi-Fi. Um, and let's see if this is gonna work. I'm just gonna hit turn on. Awesome. So it pulls it in. That would be heat pump 
would be powered and running. Now if it's going along and I have a, an error and I need to reset it, I can just come into here, I can say turn off, I can let that sit for 10-15 minutes to reset its stuff and then turn it back on. Do that all remotely. So that's pretty cool. I think I can set up like uh, schedules and stuff in here too if I wanted to. But um, Alright, so that part is done. I need to figure out where I'm going to mount the box next. I've got the heat pump power turned off and I think I'm going to mount the box right about here. So I got to get this wire moved out of the way if I can. I don't think I'm going to be able to move this one at all. I think that's probably as hard of a turn as it can make. Uh, but I'm going to pop these out and we'll see if we can move this to the side a little bit. along the top and it runs around this left side and goes in over here but if I actually pulled those wires out of the breaker I could mount this box over here and have the, the conduit come just down into here and then into the panel from the right side I think that's actually going to be a better way to do it. Well, I think the first thing I got to do is get the wires out of the panels so that I can um, kind of mop this up. Okay, I got the conduit out. Um, so I'm just going to set that to the side for now. And this is loose. I think I'm going to mount the box. And I think I want to mount it. I think I want to mount it so that I've got a straight shot from, you know, one of these knockouts. And this is a three quarter NPT knockout, which means it's got to go in up here because down here are all half inch. If I go up here. I can put that behind, I can put that right to the edge. We'll have a straight shot coming out of the box into the panel. And then this will come in like that. I think that'll work. Let's get this screwed into place first. That's crooked. Oh, it looks so bad. Yeah, I think the edge of the plywood is crooked. Because it's... Nope, it's got to come off. the end this conduit has uh, the 240 volt power for the heat pump it also has these smaller wires are the 240 volt um, feed for the main circulator pump which is controlled by the heat pump so these are just going to pass through this junction box. That's in place. I'll tie that up later. Now I've got everything in here. get my conduit connected up here into the panel. I can feed my pump wires just straight through 
I'm actually gonna feed my ground wire straight through. It's just the, um, the two legs of the 240 that are gonna run through this contactor in one side, out the other, and then out of the box. I got the wires run back into the panel. I didn't record any of it because I had the power off and you couldn't see anything anyways. But um, the conduit that used to be up here is now running into the box. And sorry, it's hard to see, but basically my two 240 volt legs come through the contactor, come out and go back into the panel over here. You kind of see the green ground wire run straight through and also my, um, the ground and the two power legs for the 240 volt circulator run straight through this. They go through this little piece of conduit into the panel and just back hooked up where they were. Um, in here, we have 120 volt power right here coming from the wall and that basically powers this relay. This is a Shelly uh, smart Wi-Fi relay uh, that I can control via the Shelly app. And so that is powered and that is controlling this contactor. So when the Shelly relay is on, the contactor will be on and that's the way it's normally gonna work. If for some reason the heat pump stops working, has an error or whatever, I can, using the app, turn off this relay, which will turn off the contactor and cut power to the heat pump. That'll let the heat pump controls reset, and then I can turn it back on, you know, 10, 15 minutes later, and all should be fixed. This will allow me to do it remotely from anywhere as long as I have Wi-Fi and there's power here at the house. So um, I think we are ready to give this a test. I do still need to tie up that conduit. But other than that, I think we're pretty much ready to go. Um, the first thing I wanna do is actually shorten, before I plug it in actually, I need to shorten my power here, my 120 volt. It's a little bit, I left it long because I didn't know how long I needed, but I gotta cut a few feet off that. So let me do that first. Okay, let's give it a test. So you can see the red light on the Shelly relay. Uh, it says power, so it's, pl it's plugged in. Um, I've already, before this, uh, powered it on and connected it to my Wi-Fi. So the green light next to the Wi-Fi says that it's connected successfully. Um, so I'm gonna go into the Shelly app. 
if I click this power button here, should turn on. And it does. Awesome. So now, I mean the breaker's off in the panel, but that should allow me to turn the heat pump on and off remotely. So I'm actually gonna turn it off and I am going to flip the breaker in the panel. So, let's turn on the controls. I'm gonna turn on the heat pump breaker and nothing has happened. The controller for the heat pump is not on, which is good. That's exactly what I want because the contactor is off. So let me go into my Shelly app and turn this on and hopefully we get power and we don't get any sparks. <laughs> Here we go. There we are. I don't know if you heard the beep. Heat pump controller turned on. It's gonna take a minute to initialize, but that appears to be working perfectly. So now, anytime I need to reset the heat pump, if I'm not here at home, I can just do it right in the app. And that's the finished install. I think that came out pretty nice. Um, I do actually, I need to finish putting staples on this wire here. I need to tie up the conduit, but other than that, we are back in business. When this powered up, the first thing it did, it ran the fan. It was cold, it was 25 degrees out there, as you can see right there. Um, so it's 25 degrees and it ran the fan and the pump to circulate the warm water from inside through the pump, or I mean through the heat pump. So that's that 96 you see right there, is the, uh, that's the tank temperature. Right there, those match. If we unlock that, we do this. You can see that it is, um, these temperatures here are the inlet and outlet temperature, so it warmed it up. And I'm just waiting for the compressor and the fan and the pump and everything to actually start for the call for heat. Because we are, there is a call for heat right here. It's commanding the heat pump on. So uh, this should start momentarily. Okay, there you can see the circulator pump just kicked on. We should see the compressor and the fan come on in just a moment. There's the fan. There's the compressor. So now it's running, it's generating heat, and over time we will see that uh, 93 degrees increase as the tank temperature increases. So everything appears to be working perfectly as it's supposed to.